workers wanted these buildings to serve an educational purpose to help instruct students about sustainable construction and about the many benefits of LEED certification to the world. There's been a great deal of education to the consumer, but also generationally, there's a much higher awareness of the damage done and the opportunity to do better. The customer demands a higher level of performance. Over the next 20 to 30 years, reducing the amount of energy that buildings use is one of the things that drives our practice. It's an important agenda item on every project that we get involved in. And frankly, we don't want to be involved if, if it's not an important agenda item to our clients. I think there is generally a much higher awareness of the damage that we, the greater we have done to our planet and our world, and that we now have a responsibility to repair. Any project achieving even the lowest level of lead still represents a building that is far better in terms of its environmental impact and its performance, its impact on human health and well-being than the typical building might have. And so along with that came a, a desire on the part of the project team and the owners to uh, go after lead certification. By pursuing LEED certification, Rutgers is kind of on the forefront of public universities in developing buildings in an environmentally sustainable and energy efficient way. Typically in universities, in, in the best universities, and universities like Rutgers, it is part of their mission statement. Their customer is the student. Demographically, part of our population that is extremely concerned about our environment on a personal level to their own healthfulness and on a global level to stewardship of the land. Green building and the decision to pursue LEED certification is something that will benefit the world, it will benefit the country, and it will benefit Rutgers University in terms of increasing its profile and in reducing its operating costs for these buildings over a long-term period. But it'll also create a better environment for those individuals, the students, faculty, and the members of the Rutgers community that are gonna be the ones to occupy and, and enjoy these buildings. That's also an important element of sustainable buildings, is making sure that occupants are comfortable and can work there sustainably and they're not going to leave because it's uncomfortable. The sustainability feature was always a measure in terms of design, in terms of specification of product, and it wasn't always first cost, it was life cycle cost, it was use of fuel, of water, of whatever the consumable quantity is. Uh, and while that may not be obvious every time you turn on the, the faucet in the kitchen, I'd like them to know that we all thought about it.